Hey, baby, how are you? Fred, I'm sure you're aware of the time. Where are you? Why do you always... Calm down, babes. I'm on my way home. Really? I was beginning to think you are going to spend the night at the office. Listen, there was just so much work to do at work, so calm down. I'm just coming home now. Really? I'm sure I did. Babes, you know I run this company, and you know where your father wants to see this company. His vision for the company, and that's exactly what I'm working on. Look, it's not safe to be driving and talking on the phone at the same time. Kiss Junior for me. Tell him I'm coming home, okay? Okay. All right, I'll see you. Can you please get me a drink from the fridge? Thanks. Don't you think it's time for you to go to bed? No, I will wait until daddy comes home. I want to show him something. But you can always show him tomorrow morning. Can I go when the minute and touches then? All right, deal. Thanks, thanks, ma. before you sleep. I'm sorry to have woken you up. Oh my god. Lucy. Are you crying? What is it? It's Fred. He's still not home. What do you mean by he has not come home? Yeah. It's late. Did, um, did, did he tell you he was going anywhere from work or did he say anything? No. I spoke to him a few hours ago, and he said he was almost home. But he still hasn't gotten home yet. <laughs> I've called him and his phone is switched off now. Chim, I'm so scared. Please, Lucy, stop. Stop. Don't start drawing conclusions. Listen, I'm sure there is a reasonable explanation for this. Maybe his car broke down or something, yeah. You need to get some sleep. Because there's really nothing we can do till tomorrow. I'm sure Fred is okay. Okay. Now, wipe those tears, okay? Try and catch some sleep. How am I supposed to get some sleep in this kind of situation? <sighs> anyway, I'll try and get some sleep. Okay, good night. Good night.
hurry up, okay? You're gonna be late for school. I like school today. I don't want to go to school. Now why would you say a thing like that? Jim. Are you okay? Or is it because of daddy? Can we come in? No, my, my son is inside. I wouldn't want him to hear what's going on. Uh, that's okay. We understand. About your husband, yeah. some officers on patrol found his car very early this morning. He was nowhere inside. We suspect he might have been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Calm down, madam. We don't have all the details yet, but we will soon. If anything comes up, we will get in touch. Um, we'll get in touch with you if anything comes up soon, okay? Uh, we'll take care of the boy and have a nice day. We'll take our number. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I told you never to eavesdrop. How would you do that? I'm sorry, ma'am. I just want to see that. You can stay home. You don't have to go to school. Daddy will soon come home, okay? So you mean there's still no news? Hmm. I'm just tired of everything. A week has gone by and still no news. The police keep saying they, they are searching, but they haven't come up with anything so far. Lucy, these things take time, okay? We need to be more patient. I know. <sighs> Listen, Lucy. You need to put up a brief front for Jim. He went to school, right? I practically had to force him to school. This whole thing has been so hard on him. He keeps asking me where his daddy is. I can imagine the pain that boy must be going through. But come to think of it, Lucy, do you really think Fred has been kidnapped? Jim, I don't know. This whole thing is just confusing for me. Because if he's been kidnapped, at least the kidnappers would have demanded for ransom by now. But so far, nothing. You know, I don't know why I have this very strong feeling that everything will be fine. I pray so. Yeah. It's almost 3 p.m. I need to go and pick up Jim from school. Okay, um, we'll go together, okay? I I will drop halfway. Sure. Yeah? Okay. Let me get my keys. I'm picking up my son from classes. Yeah, so I just got here. Okay, bye. Yeah, he Good just afternoon. got in. Good afternoon, boy. How are you? Okay. 
All right, let's go home. Sorry, I have not checked on you in a while. That's okay. I know your job is quite demanding. How is the family? Well, they are good. And Jim? Jim is fine. He's taking this whole thing surprisingly well. He's such a wise boy. You know, he's showing so much maturity for his age. Yes, he is. I'm so lucky to have a son like Jim. First disappearance has been a big blow. We're hanging on there. So, um, I came to tell you something. Mm, go ahead. So yesterday, when I picked up Jim and we're going home, I noticed this car following us. It was quite scary. Wow. Are you sure of this? Because you're going through such a hard time right now and it could just be that your emotions... No, oh, no, 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 no. This has nothing to do with emotions. For some reason, I feel these people could be responsible for Fred's disappearance and they're probably back to take me and my son. Calm down, calm down, okay? I can assure you that I and my men were on top of the situation. Your father and I were close friends for, for many, many years. All of these years, he was so good to me and my family. I will do everything in my power to help you, okay? Thank you, sir. Now, um, you're going to tell me everything you can remember about yesterday. All the places you went, the description of the car, every single thing. Every single thing. Can you do that? Good, good. Um. You needed to see the way Mama spoke to me. I have never felt so bad in my entire life. Shum, I don't know how long I can continue like this. You know, I really wish I was there. Oh yes, I would have faced her myself. I mean, how could she possibly think that you are responsible for Fred's disappearance? I don't know. I just don't know. God knows how much I love Fred. And for Mama to even conceive that kind of thought is worrisome. Who knows what other people are thinking out there? No, listen. That should not even cross your mind. You shouldn't be worried about what people are saying. That shouldn't be your concern at all. Your major priority now is Junior. You need to focus on him. Okay? I'm trying my best, Shoma. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. I mean, I, I know it's not easy. But Lucy, you have to keep trying. Okay? By the way, tell me, how is the company doing without Fred? That's another problem. 
It's, everything is just so hard for me. I'm beginning to regret that I never listened to my father when he wanted me to take over the company. Mm -mm. Listen, girl. You are stronger than you think. Okay? I believe you can do this. Come Monday, you will go to the company and you will continue from where Fred stopped. You are a strong, young, educated woman. And I believe in your abilities. Okay? If Fred could do this, so can you. Everything will be fine, okay? Okay. Okay, so... Mm, let's go prepare something for dinner. Alright? No, I'm not hungry. How do you know you're not hungry? Okay, if you're not going to come, then I'll go myself, okay? Okay. Thanks. She's even smiling. Go, that's the smile I got right there. I'm Don't gonna go. leave without you. I'm not, not going, going back to yesterday. yesterday. Baby, goodbye, I'm on my way. Hey, girl! Hi. <laughs> hey, boo! How are you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. How is she? How are you doing? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> girl, you look really great. May I know what's responsible? <laughs> Nothing really. You know, I've just been buried in work lately. And, like you always say, there's no time for me to wallow in my self-pity. I mean, I'm happy to hear that and to see you in a good mood for a change. So, how is Junior? Yeah, that reminds me, um, oh, he's doing good. He's going to be going to London this month um, to spend some time with my sister and her kids. I think the change of environment will do him some good. Yes, um... I mean, that's a good idea. He needs that. Especially now that... Now that what? Oh. <clears throat> Lucy, I didn't want to tell you like this, but... Alex is back in town. Yes. I saw him the other day at the supermarket when I went to get some things. What, 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 what? Lucy, what is going on? What is it? Are you all right? Send the valley to bring my car front. I'm moving right away. Because I'm Lucy, where are you going? I'm going to see the DPO. No, I'm coming with you. Girl, calm down. So, you think Alex has something to do with Fred's disappearance? Yes. Everything says it. My husband disappears and he suddenly comes back.
I will look into it immediately. If he is responsible, he will surely be brought to book. I will send my men and to bring him in for questioning as soon as possible. Please, please, take good care of your friend. She's in a very bad state and needs to be around someone. You're very correct, sir. I actually think I should move in with her. At least to keep her company. Mm. That's good. She really needs that right now. No, I don't. Chelma, I'll be fine, okay? You don't need to leave moving with me. Mm -mm. You will not be fine on your own. Lucy, I'm your best friend, okay? And there is no way I'm letting you go through all of this by yourself. Do you know I'm not that kind of person? <laughs> Thanks. Well, that reminds me. Um, Lucy, have you noticed any unusual thing like the car incident since the last time we spoke? Mm, no. I haven't. Um, everything has been quite normal until she told me about the news. Um... What car incident? Nothing that serious. Besides, I've forgotten about it. Yes, yes. My officers are on it and I can assure you there is nothing to worry about. All right, then. Um, I think we will take our leave now, then. That's okay. We'll take care of Detective Coldman from the CID headquarters. You are needed at our station for questioning. <laughs> questioning? For what? Are you sure this is the unless you're looking for? <laughs> hey, mister. We are not here for jokes. Either you come with us quietly or we move you forcefully. <laughs> you hold it. Sure. You should hold it. What is all this? I mean, what is going on here? I came into town three days ago and I'm already being arrested for something I do not know anything about. You better tell me why you guys need me at your station or else I'm not moving an inch. I know my rights, you know. All right, I'll tell you. We have some questions for you about the sudden disappearance of one Mr. Fred. <laughs> it's funny, huh? I knew it. I said it. See, this is a mishap. Right? I don't know any Mr. Fred. Besides, how am I supposed to know anything about his sudden disappearance? You guys have gotten the wrong person here. Will you stop wasting our time and come with us immediately? Besides, if it's the mix-up, as you say, what do you stand to lose? Officer, Move him. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Chill, chill. Okay, I'll go with you. Let me change. Fast about it, because we don't have all day.
See, officers, I've just told you the truth. I don't know what happened to Fred, and I do not even know who Fred is. See, I'm a young man trying to start life afresh all over again. You can start any investigation to confirm my story, because I absolutely have nothing to hide. Hmm. I see. The rest are sure we will do just that. If at the end of the day, we found out that you are somehow involved in this, you'll be spending the rest of your life behind bars. There's no need to threaten me, officers. Uh, I am innocent and I maintain my position. I know nothing about this. You strike me hard as a strong-headed young man. Look, Mr. Alex, if I were you, I'll confess now and save myself the anguish because, trust me, if you find out that you, you are lying to us, you'll be in trouble. Enough of this. See, I've had enough of this. I followed you out of respect and I've answered all your questions. What else do you want from me? To admit to a crime I know nothing about? Is that what you want? You're not getting that either. So if you have nothing else to ask me, please, I'd like to take my leave right now. You'll be allowed to leave soon, Mr. Alex. Look, but let me warn you. Be sure you have just told us the truth. Or else... Can I go now? Good day, sir. Good day. Sir! We are through with Mr. Alex. May we have your permission to let him go? Sir! Let him go? Were you able to obtain any information from him? No, sir. We've questioned him thoroughly, but he insists he knows nothing. Is that so? We'll see about that. Where is he now? He's still in the interrogation room, sir! Good. I will see him immediately. Yes, sir. Lance Copra, Ephraim reporting. Permission to follow, sir. Follow. Yes, sir. Mr. Alex, my officers tells me you have refused to cooperate. I guess you are the DPO. You're right, I am. So start talking. This is getting too much. I'm going crazy. Did you say something? Sir, I have told your officers I know nothing about the disappearance of Fred or whoever he is. Can you please let me go? Tell me something. Why are you in town after such a long time? Could it be to torment your ex-wife because she has moved on? I hope for your sake you're telling the truth. This is a personal case. And I'm going to go hard on all the culprits. Or culprits, as the case may be. Do you want to torment my ex-wife? But what has Lucy got to do with this? The missing man is her husband. What? I can believe, but I'll do. Doesn't matter what you're gonna say. Yes, you don't have to be with her, I mean, till everything is fine. Yes, she needs her best friend right now. <sighs> anyway, how's the course going? <laughs> good to hear that, good to hear that. Yes, I miss you too. Love you, boo. Speak to you later. Alright then, bye. Dan sends his regards. <laughs> I so envy you both. I miss Fred so much. He was a good husband, good father, good everything. Is Lucy. What? Yes, is. You, you said was. Fred is not dead. Is he not? It's been months now and there's still no whereabout of his body. The police are clueless of his whereabouts. So what am I supposed to think? Lucy, we're not doing this again. Okay, Fred is not dead. 
at least his body hasn't been found. Well, God forbid. Okay. Just stop using past tense while referring to him. Your husband is going to come home. Okay? Thank you so much, Yama. You're such a wonderful friend. I don't know what I would have done without you. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And everything is going to be fine. All right, then. This is where I bid you farewell. All right, then. Take care of yourself. All right. Okay. your help urgently. It's very important. Where do we meet? Okay, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Is that all for the day? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Just yeah. a second. Hello? Hi, Trevor. All right. Is he ready? Okay, I'll be there soon. Bye. Angela, I need you to shift my stuff and other appointments to tomorrow. I need to drop off my son at the airport. Excuse me. Yes, Angela. Um, there was a deal your husband was working on before he... Angela, I need to get going, okay? We'll talk about it tomorrow. But I suggest you take it along to go through the files because they've been waiting on a feedback for a very long time. A long time? Yes, please. And you're telling me about it today? I'm sorry, ma. It's just that... Angela, just give me the file. So that is it. We brought him in for questioning, but we couldn't obtain any information from him. Listen, he may not know it, but we have our eyes on him. I didn't want you to go through the stress of coming down to the station again. That's why I decided to come over and see how you're doing. Thank you. I appreciate the gesture. You're welcome. But listen, I have a strong feeling that he is part of this somehow. Lucy, Lucy, I don't want you to keep worrying yourself about this. Leave everything to us. We will get to the root of it. I hope so. Hey, hello, Chema. Well, that is it for now. I will keep you posted as the events unfold. Fred will surely be found. We are not giving up. You shouldn't too. Okay?
You heard him, right? Don't give up, okay? I won't. It's just that I miss him so much. I know, I know. But I don't know why I have this strong feeling that everything will be fine. Okay? Cheer up. Cheer up, girl. Cheer up. Alex, for what? So you can facilitate my disappearance too? No, Lucy, I know nothing about your husband's disappearance. I don't care. Just stay away from me, okay? Stay away from me. Lucy, please listen to me. I just want to help. I don't need it. I don't need it, okay, Alex? Listen. Stay away from me. I won't say this again. I can believe, but I'll do. Doesn't matter what you're gonna say. I pray to find a better day. I'm so sorry, but that's just the way it is. Lucy, what is wrong with you? What's wrong? I mean, where are the things you went out to buy? What is the problem? Lucy? I saw Alex today. What? Oh my God, what did he do to you? Did he hurt you? He, he didn't do anything to me. God, this is getting out of hand. What does he want from you? He wants to help me, he said. <laughs> Isn't that funny? My ex-husband wants to help me find my current husband. Oh. Oh, Lucy, listen, I, I think you should go to the police again. No. I'm not going there again. Chima, what have they done with my case so far? It's been months now since Fred went missing. And they haven't been able to give me a clue. But you know these things take time, Lucy. I'm sure they're doing all they can. Have they? Please. Lucy, if you will not report this, I will. Okay? I'm not going to sit here and watch you put yourself in danger. I can't believe it is true. It doesn't matter what you're gonna say I'm gonna find a better day I'm so sorry, but that's just the way it is Are you still going to deny the fact that you came back for her? I am not denying or accepting anything. Alex. She's married. She moved on. You just have to keep off. Are you joking? Her husband is missing. And everybody thinks that I am responsible. I'm not keeping off. All right, all right, suit yourself. I hate to ask, but I will need your help. Just keep me posted.
are you, huh? Hi, darling. How are you? I'm all right. How was your day? Ah, oh, good. Surprisingly, I'm doing a wonderful job right now at the office. Hmm. <laughs> That's good to hear. Yep. So, don't mind. I'll be traveling to see my mother later this week. Ah, oh, she's down with fever. Again? Yes. I hope it's nothing that serious. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, I don't know, are you sure you're going to be fine by yourself? Of course I'll be fine. Your mother needs you. Are you sure? Positive. <laughs> okay then, I will leave by Friday. I just made it, that's why I stopped. Please don't scream. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk. Listen, I do not want to listen to what you have to say, okay? I'm not interested. Well, I have a lot to tell you. Well, I'm not interested. You, I'm afraid you have to because it's about your missing husband. I knew it! I knew it! I just knew it! Where is he, Alex? Where is my husband? Call his number. For the good of everyone. Don't let anybody know. Not even the police. you have that look on your face? I'm fine. Mm. Yeah. What uh, is the problem? I mean, you know you can talk to me about anything. I'm fine, Chioma. I guess I'm just missing my son, that's all. <laughs> well, if it's about that, then we all know summer is almost ending. Okay, so just stay put. I know, I know. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Oh, yes, I am. All right, then. Now let me change up and go and drop you no, off, okay? No, no, no. Girl, you need to sit this one out, okay? Just sit and enjoy your weekend. I'll take a taxi, okay? Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. All right. Extend my regards to your mom. Okay. Mm. Okay, she's here. And... Apart from the fact that you miss your son, I hope every other thing is fine. Yes, everything is fine, Chiyama. You worry too much. Well, if I don't worry about it, who will? Isn't that what they always say? <laughs> All right, girl. I'll call you, okay? All right, take care of Bye. yourself. Bye.
Another file? Yes, ma'am. I've already gone through it though, but I'll need you to cross check before signing. And then I'll need the other file I gave you the last time. Thank you so much. My neck has been protesting because it's been bent all day long looking at files. Oh, God. So you want me to look at it and sign? Okay. Mr. Fred used to. It's okay, Angela. I'm not gonna stop wailing each time my husband's name is mentioned. I'm beginning to accept my fate. I'm so sorry, Ma. I've been praying for you. So sad. Oh, thank you so much, Angela. I really appreciate it. And as for that file, I just keep forgetting to look at it. Damn. You know what I'm going to do? Mm, I'm going to make sure I look at it this weekend and I bring it back on Monday morning, okay? Okay. All right, then. I'll just send an email to the clients and ask them till then. They should wait. Perfect. Yes. All right. Thank you. your mom ah she's all right she's fine i mean i had to take her to the hospital myself but she's really upset with you yes for not coming with me to see her did you tell her fred was missing no but you mean there's still no news nothing Oh my God. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. No, no, no. Listen, I spent the entire day looking for the file, but I could not find it. No, 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 no. Listen, I swear. I'll find it. I'll find it. Yes, yes, please. I just need more time. Hello? 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 dress from your wardrobe it's that okay um 
Of course, Miss Laboro. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, thank you. Black, the, the white and the blue striped um, gown. Good choice. Okay, um, thank you. Okay, good try. It will definitely look good on you. All I'll right. be out soon. Okay, um, later then. What are you doing here? And how the hell did you find this place? Can I come in? What do you want? Why didn't you call the number I gave you? I do not owe you any explanation on what I choose to do or not to do. You're so wrong, Lucy. You owe me an explanation. Excuse me? You hurt me. I was minding my business when you sent policemen after me. And now I'm neck deep in this. I don't understand. Neck deep down in what? Your husband is still missing, isn't he? Lucy, I just want to help. Believe me. Please, come on. Can I come? I can believe that I'll do. Doesn't matter what you're gonna say. I pray to find a better day. Alex, you're saying nothing. I need more time. I know Lucy very well. You know I was once married to her, remember? I need more time to convince her. We both know that's what we don't have. This is dangerous. I'm trying to save my head here. I've got family. I'm doing my best. Trust me. I am. Look, Peter. I know you've been covering for me all this while. And I appreciate you for that. But I need more time, please. Okay. Okay. Be specific. How much more time do you need? One month. Two weeks. Three. Please. Fine. Three weeks and nothing more. Just do what you have to do. Thanks.
please tell me there's food in this house because I've expended my energy at the gym. Yes, there's food in the kitchen. Thank God. Chama. Yes. Did you by any chance see any fowl in this house? A fowl? Because I I brought it home like two weeks ago, and I can't seem to find it anywhere in my room. I I haven't seen any fowl. Are you sure you brought it home? I don't even know again. I just have so much on my mind, I can't seem to keep track of things. Um, you know what, there's really nothing to worry about, okay? Um, I'll help you look for it. As long as the file is here, we'll find it, okay? But let me just get something to eat first. Yeah? This early morning? Mike. Hmm. The name doesn't ring a bell. Are oh, you not know, just send the person in? Thanks. Hi, Lucy. Yeah, have it. You again. This time around, I'm not leaving until you hear me out. That's not necessary. I can call security if I want. Yeah, that's true. But we both know you want to do that. You have five minutes, and I'm calling security. You said you had something to say, so say it. Open the envelope, Lucy. Two minutes. Open the damn envelope! How dare you raise your voice at me? How dare you? You walked out of our marriage for years without a word and left me in so much pain. And you just return and think I'll be interested in what you have to say? What that envelope contains has nothing to do with us. You really need to see what's in there. Yeah, leave. Leave like you always do, Alex. I'll be in touch. Saying goodbye to yesterday. No looking back, I'm on my way I can believe, but I'll do Doesn't matter what you're gonna say I pray to find a better day I'm so sorry, but that's just the way it is Too late to keep asking myself should I leave? Should I stay? Should I taste how it feels to walk away? Cause if I leave, I'm not sure where I'll be going Cause I can't stand the chance of starting all over again 